Epic and throw, 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 epic and throw. Welcome to another video. So today I'm gonna be uh I'm gonna be showing you how to create good Minecraft thumbnails. I don't know how you want to define good, but this is like a general concept. So you load up Minimator or Blender or whatever you want you want to use. I I find Minimator the most intuitive, so I'll leave the uh the download link to Minimator in the description. So when you first load it up, you'll be greeted with a startup screen and obviously you won't have any projects here. So you just click new project and then I would name it YouTube thumbnail tutorial, but I don't feel like it. So just, yeah, you give it a name. It doesn't even matter because it's just the name of your image and then you can rename it afterwards. It doesn't even matter. Create the project and now you'll be greeted with a world, a, f a flat Minecraft world. So well, you're gonna. So first of all, if you right click, you can move around. You can W A use W A S D. If you press Shift and then press W A S D again, it's slower. You press Space and press W A S D. It's faster. E is up. Q is down. So you want you want the thumbnail. So you want the character, and you click on the skin. If you have the skin file, you can just browse in your files. It. Don't worry about the duck. Don't worry about it. And if you don't have the skin file, you can just download it from a Minecraft user. So if, if I just type in fan to seal, get skin, and there we go. You create the character, and there it is. And then you can uh, you can mess with the position however you want. Okay, so the character is like that. So you can move the character however you want. And you can take the, take the arm and move that however you want. You can bend it. You can take this arm, you can move it however you want, you can bend it, right? Like you, you take the head, you can do that, you can do whatever with the head. And then you can also take the legs and do whatever. Uh, and then you can take this leg, just do that, yeah. And then you can take the body and do whatever, just like do that and then like that and then there we go. Here's your here's your wonderful thumbnail. I'm just kidding. Okay. Generally, you want if to make it look natural, you can just take the arm out, put it up a little bit, give it a little bend, and then take take that out. You can like move it back if you want. You can move it forward. You can you can really do whatever you want. Make it just give it a little bend, and then take uh. Make the legs go out, get a little bend. Take it out a little bit, and then give it a little bend. And then, that's pretty much it. That That's literally all you really need. You can, if you want, if you want it in any other position, you can just, you can do that. Oh yeah, and I suggest you make it lean forward a little bit. It just looks a little bit better. If the legs are like that, then the hips should be out a little bit. That's just... That's just how humans stand. That's just physics, because the weight is like there. So yeah, yeah. I'm not. Gonna, I, this is not. A, that's this is not a physics lesson. So I'm not going to talk about that. This just looks a little bit more natural, and I might as well just make a thumbnail, like a thumbnail for a future video that I have planned. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Be right back. You know, you probably, you guys probably can't tell too much by from just from looking at this, but you'll you'll see. I have a video plan, all right? So on Minimator, you can't export it as a transparent picture. So what you're going to you're going to what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to create a flat surface. And you know, for the size you're going to make it, it doesn't even matter where it's going to face. Just 2000 is not necessary, but it doesn't matter how big it is. Just cover everything. You don't That's that's just all you need to do with it. And then you can leave it white, but I, I've got I like the green color, just green screens in general. And also my skin's white, so I don't want I don't want that to affect anything. So I'll I'll just get like a green. And then also I want to hurt your uh, I I want to hurt my viewers' eyes. So brightness all the way up. Now pretty much just you you just export this picture. So how how you do that is you press this button right here button icon I, I don't know just click this export the current frame to an image file 
Uh, you can make the image size whatever you want. I, I kind of like 4K. I don't know why. It's not like my monitor is 4K, but like I, I just like 4. <laughs> I just like having it at 4K. So you save it, and I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. And now you can exit out. Uh, you probably want to save it in case you want to edit it in the future. And now here is the image. Now you you're probably asking, well, fantasy. Uh, how do you how do you get rid of the green if you don't use Photoshop? Well, let me tell you, it's it's pretty simple. It's called Pixlr E. You can use Pixlr X. It doesn't matter. It, it, either will work. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open image. You're gonna click YouTube thumbnail tutorial or whatever you have it named okay once you're here you click on cut out slash mask all right and what you do is you click on magic mask and you just click the green first of all that'll be gone and then just get rid of that now what you want to do is you want to turn off contiguous because if you turn contiguous on what happens is when you click this that only that disappears only uh pixels next to it with the same color disappear so when you turn off contiguous you can click that and look all of it disappears so you don't necessarily need to get rid of all the green but you want to get rid of it to the point where you don't see it in the full image obviously no one's going to zoom in to your image like that so yeah don't mess with the tolerance so if anything goes wrong obviously you just you just if anything goes wrong, you just press Control Z. That's just common knowledge. It's just undoing whatever whatever you mistake you made. Like if you click here on accident, and oh no, the arm's gone and the head's gone and that's gone. Just Control Z, undo. So if you guys don't know that, I, I I'm mildly disappointed. Now what you do is just go to File, Save, and then you just download it, and then. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it out onto my other monitor and have it out here. So what what you'll see is this. You'll see white as the background, but it's not actually white. It's transparent, but then whatever you use, it's probably not going to show it as transparent, but it is transparent. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to find a background. And typically what I like to do is I actually like to go into Minecraft itself and then go into bed wars turn on my shaders and then build up and then just take a take a photo so now that you have the screenshot what you're going to do in pixlr e is you just click on home open image and what you're going to do is you're going to press uh, you're going to type in percent app data percent if you're on uh, if you're on a mac i i don't know just wherever you have the screenshot stored find it all right and here i have it so here's the Here's the image, and you're gonna add a second layer. You're gonna add uh, the transparent picture, and obviously mine's gonna be way too big because I exported it at 4K. So I'm just gonna make it a little smaller real quick to fit the frame a little bit, bit better. So now, this, this is the basic concept. It's just, you have your Minecraft character, you have a background, you're probably gonna put some words here, and then in the end, all you, what you're gonna do is you're just, you're just gonna click on the layer you have the background on, and then you go to filter, and then you go to detail, you go to blur, and then you just, typically I like it at around 25 or so. I blurred the wrong image. You click on the background, not your image, and then you go to detail, go to detail, go to blur, and then you, I usually like to blur at around 25 or so. That looks pretty good. And then you can put the words or any other images you want to add to it. And then you just export it once again here, save, and then you can download it to your computer. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil the video I have planned any more than this. I'm not going to, if I put the words down, it's obviously going to spoil the video. So thank you for watching. I uh, hope this helped and you get, you guys can stop making like just simple thumbnails with like background words like that that's good and all but like this is probably better just in general so i hope this helped